SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we got this article shared to me from an SMT patron. Big shout out to Brian. Appreciate you for sharing this. Uh, titled Verizon, not just chasing pops and 5G medband race. Really a solid article. I'll be sure to link it for you guys in the description. So you'll find it there. Also in the description is the real SMT buy me a coffee link. If you want to support your creators directly that way. And also check out our partner, Mint Mobile, the partner link in the description. Save money, and you'll be helping out the channel in the process. Okay, so let's see what this is about here. All right, well, there's been a lot going on in this race of 5G. And basically, at this moment in time, it's about new technologies, and it's about pops or points of presence, right? Mid-band pops of 5G. Uh, T-Mobile pushing the narrative on all those different angles. Uh, but it looks like Verizon is punting on being the first to anything. Uh, they are taking a different philosophy and a different approach. All right, so when it comes to voice over 5G or voice over NR, network slicing, the 5G core, they're going to be taking their time on it. They're going to make sure that in their eyes, it is ready, it is properly optimized, and it is functioning well. All right, they are not in the business of working too fast and then having problems and troubles for their customers. All right, now one of the things that they raised the white flag on was trying to match T-Mobile when it comes to the mid-band 5G coverage in terms of the pace of the build and the number of pops. T-Mobile has exceeded 260 million pops of their 5G UC, 5G UC. Verizon, which stands, I think, just beyond 200 million pops. They said they were going to hit it in Q1 of 23, and they absolutely did. So while T-Mobile has had basically a two- or three-year head start because of the Sprint merger, Verizon and AT&T had to wait for dedicated mid-band 5G spectrum through the auction system. But I think Verizon has done a really admirable job in building out fast. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a network build as fast as what they've done with C-Band. Uh, Verizon does indicate that they want to be, uh, I think their initial goal was to hit 250 million pops of 5G UW with their C-Band by the end of 24 folks there is no way it is going to take them that long they're currently over 200 million pops today uh they were i think they actually did it back in february or march when they hit the mark all right so they're they're probably well beyond 210 million pops by now all right so getting to 250 million i think that's easily achievable by the end of this year actually i think they're going to be really close i think 250 million is realistic I think 250 million is quite possible. Okay, so even though they're not pushing the the, the pace narrative, uh, they definitely are building it really fast. All right, so uh, whatever they're saying, I mean, I, I still think they're building it really quickly. Uh, Verizon is more focused on being ready for virtualizing their network. Uh, they currently have over 10,000 VRAN-enabled sites. Uh, these are probably... You know, areas where you're going to see Verizon tinkering and trying and collecting data on the performance of the SA core operation, SA data traffic. So I, I think they're kind of putting themselves in a position to take baby steps, right? They don't want to take any chances. They've already completely virtualized their network uh, with respect to their core, uh, you know, the 5G core. Uh, having all those sites enabled and ready to go, I think the goal is just moving towards that across the nation. Uh, specifically, Verizon works with AWS, Amazon Web Services, for these operations. They've they've been working through the cloud controls for a while now, and you know they, they they're just that's all they want to do right now, right? Upgrade as much of the network as fast as possible at a pace they can live with. They're spending the money and just making sure it's ready for for when the technology is ready to go and they feel confident in its reliability, uh, they can just proceed moving forward. Don't forget that Verizon has been very actively, you know, turning up the, the circuits of fiber. You know, they've been really focusing on trying to get 10 gig fiber throughout their one fiber initiative. Uh, so places where they own and operate their fiber through their MCI business. Uh, but then even in places where they don't own and operate their fiber, they're still looking to get 10 gig circuits. All right, now the one thing that T-Mobile doesn't have on its side is fiber ownership. It doesn't impact your experience as a T-Mobile customer, right? Just because they have to lease it or buy it or whatever, 
it's, it's fine. It doesn't change anything for you. But the owner economics on the side of Verizon with respect to this. And of course, Verizon is multi-purposing their network. The the modernization, the virtualization, the upgrades, the, the core network functionality, it's going to be put to use over two use cases, the mobile network and then also fixed wireless access. Don't forget enterprise, right? The Mac, the 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 custom private networking that Verizon wants to do, right? Using their leveraging their C band, their millimeter wave. Those things will continue to be something that they focus on. So when I look at this announcement, I want to be perfectly clear and transparent about this. The truth is, is that Verizon is not chasing pops because of one key thing. They can't win in pops covered because T-Mobile got there first. They're not going to sit there and say, you know, oh, we were second to this many pops. That would be stupid. Nobody cares who finishes second. So what they're going to do is they're going to spin the narrative as we're not concerned with being first. We just want to be the best, right? When I look through the disclosures from Verizon, it's always about excellence. It's always about being the best, the most reliable, the most capable, building the world's best networks as their moniker internally at Verizon and in their marketing and branding. All right. So at least they're true to their word. That's what they've been saying for years, right? So... Maybe the speed is not what they're focusing on, right? The rate, uh, I mean, the rate's really fast, actually. Uh, they're just, they're not going to be the first to X number of pops because, you know, T-Mobile started first by several years, all right? And no mention of AT&T on any of this stuff. They Mum's the word. They continue to kind of just passively do their thing, work at their own pace, and not really publicly market anything, all right? So uh, it looks like it's a Verizon and T-Mobile thing. You know, that's what they do. Interesting stuff. What do you guys think about this? Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.